Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. You see this lightsaber I have right here? This is a toy my kids picked up at one of those night shows. It came home and got put in the basement. Let's see it buddy. Well I was thinking what can I do with that? So I have this really cool project to share with you today. We're going to basically take the guts of this lightsaber, pull them out, attach them to a ceiling fan, turn off the lights and get a really cool effect that your kids are going to love and it's just a fun project. It's real simple, you only need a few parts and you'll get it done in about five minutes. Let's jump into it. Let's quickly go over the parts and the tools you'll need to complete this project. First off, you need a lighted sword here. This is uh, really simple. It's got a sword length of about one and a half feet. It's got a button right here to change the mode of the LEDs. It originally had a ball with a light back here. I pulled that off when I was putting this build together. It doesn't matter if yours has one or doesn't. All that matters is if you've got this lit up sword here. You need a really small Phillips head screwdriver wire cutters, some scotch tape, and one of the pieces you'll probably have to buy is some button cell batteries. These are CR2025s, three volt. Three volt is what matters. Uh, the thicker the battery, the better, the longer it will last in this project. That's all you need, let's start putting things together. First we need to start taking the lightsaber apart. The first step is of course take out the batteries. Let's do that, take them out, the sword will turn off. Now unscrew any Phillips screws you find in the handle. Take the cover off and inside you'll find where the battery connectors connect to a circuit board. Remove the circuit board Then cut the white wire and cut the red wire. My red wire is already cut. Pick out your circuit board. There might be some wires leading from here to the bottom of the sword. Just cut them. Mine did have them originally. I just cut them right off here on the circuit board. Next, lift out your sword and pull the center out to reveal the LEDs. And that's it for this part. So from the lighted sword, the only piece you really need is this LED strip that ran up the sword and the circuit board here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test to make sure this is going to work outside of the sword. And I've got my 3 volt button battery right here. The plus side is this right here with the writing on it. And the negative side is this kind of rounder piece. So to test it, put your plus to the red wire here, put the white wire to the top and then hit your button. And if you've done everything right, you should get that lighting up like that. Now I'll show you that it will go through a few different modes. And that's good because when we put it onto the fan, those different modes will give you a different effect. So in this step, all we need to do is connect the wires to the battery with some scotch tape. Put your red wire on the bottom here and set it on the tape. Get your battery. Set that on top, put the white wire on, fold around the tape. And then once you've done that, test to make sure that the wire still lights. So we're good, it's time to attach it to the fan. Now this is the part where I'm gonna install the lights onto the fan. If you're not an adult right now, go and get a parent to help you with this piece. It's really easy and not that dangerous, but it's still important that you consider uh, safety when doing this piece. First off, make sure your power to the fan is off, okay? Here's my light. What you wanna do is spread the whole light over the length of the fan. Now the important part is make sure this is not too heavy because if it's too heavy, it will throw the fan out of balance. So let's attach it now to the fan. I have a few pieces of tape that I have just already cut up here. I know the length of my wire approximately. Put it like that. Now the battery here, which is this piece, I'm gonna hang right over the top here because you don't want that on the blade, you want it at the edge. 
I don't know if you can see that. And there we go. Now keep the camera focused on the fan. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay. So what's gonna happen is, as it spins, you're gonna get a really cool effect. Now it's better at night. Watch my head. <laughs> so as it spins, you get a really cool effect. At night, it looks even better. Um, and the different modes kind of give you different behaviors of the LED. It looks really cool. So anyway, that project took me a total of five minutes. My kids love it. As they go to sleep, I turn it on and they just watch it and it lulls them right to sleep. So I know adults are gonna love this project for that reason. Anyway, that's it for now. My name is Andrew. I'm from Kite Army. Please leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, like things, and I'll see you guys around real soon.